What's going on everyone, Cobalt Archie here, and welcome to The Test, Hypothesis Rising, the sequel to the first game I played, The Test, and uh, looking forward to getting into a little bit more of a real experience here. Uh, just like the last one, we'll be getting into some cold, hard truths. Before experiencing The Test, Hypothesis Rising, it's highly recommended that you play its prequel, The Test, first before venturing into this experience. You will stand to gain a lot more from this experience if you gain, if you play The Test test for, why can't i think play the test first and this examination will make a bit more sense as it carries on from where the last examination left off i would like to urge you to go and play the test now before venturing forward and follow the instructions listed throughout the game as you will certainly get a bigger benefit overall by taking the test in the order they were meant to be taken in so i have to close the game now i already played the test wonderful news we can continue whoa you're a different person Oh, shit, we got a character art here. Fate, hello, and welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. Please excuse the mess, I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time with blabber blabber and nonsensical speak. So I'll just get straight to the point. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular I'd like for you to ask yourself. Are you happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but it's not the same as being happy. I want to help you. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. I want to see you grow inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking. Good question. Allow me to explain. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you're going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. You do want to be happy, don't you? Mm-hmm, I do. You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. That was, that was threatening. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes good people do bad things, and sometimes we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest while I'm answering these questions, no matter, matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now it's time to get into the real meat of this experiment. It's time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read questions and scenarios during the process, I want to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at the answer that best suits your own psyche. If you've never experienced a scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you had to try to assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secret of overcoming the next hurdle in your life. We're going to start with some basic easy questions. If you answer these questions twice, your advice may change. It's not just about answering these questions, it's about many different variables. Many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer proposed questions. With that being said, it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer you're giving before you give it. Whatever you do, do not rush the process. This is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And here we go. Do you feel uncomfortable right now? Well, I didn't until the music started. Are you nervous? A little bit now, because you kind of threatened me. Do you feel cold? Actually, a little, but that's besides the point. Do you feel sad? Uh, no, actually. Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? Probably. Do you crave acceptance by others? I think everyone does a little bit. Have you ever lost a loved one? I have. Do you know what heartbreak feels like? I do. Do you believe in demons? Probably. I mean, they're probably real. Do you believe in curses? No. Would you consider yourself to be 
Spiritual. No? Are you afraid of dying alone? I think everyone is, once again. There was undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you. Would you continue to live in your home? Uh, depends on the ghost. And how they've been acting. I'm going to say yes, though. Depends on the ghost. Have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? I have. Do you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into your life without you knowing it? I do not. Would you like to make more friends? Uh, I'm actually pretty comfortable with the friend group I have. But that being said, I do want to make more friends on the internet. So I guess I kind of lied on that. I wish I changed my answer on that. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? I definitely try my hardest, but I definitely fall flat in a few ways. Do you feel lonely? Uh, currently, no. Talk to me. Okay. Do you make friends easily? Uh, pretty easily. Do you tend to avoid drama where possible? I try. Have you ever had a near-death experience? A uh, couple. Do you like horror movies? Not particularly. This is all very interesting. Have you played the test? I have. That's the spirit. Have you played the horror scope? I have never heard of that. Give it a whack. I'm not totally biased. Or anything. Do you watch porn? Uh, I have watched porn. Would you consider yourself to be a hard worker? I would. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? Uh, I do. Would you consider yourself to be a confident person? I would not. Would you help an old lady cross the street even if you were running late for an appointment? Probably not. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save one of your own? Oh, God. Probably. It's like asking if I would want to save my own child. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? No. Have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? Yes. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far just to see if they'd really get stuck? No. Is that a thing that happens? Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? I have. Are you streaming live right now? No, but I am recording. Are you recording this gameplay session right now? I am. If I told you that I was watching you play this game right now, would you believe me? I would. If you've left a comment for me at any point, I've read your words. Does this bother you? No. If you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I paid attention to what you've taken time to write? No. Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? Sure. Uh, I appreciate you guys, and I read every comment you leave for me. I really do. Are you afraid of snakes? No, I like holding snakes. Do you believe in magic? No. Have you cried in the last month? No? I don't think I have. Do you have a hero? I do. Do you typically learn from your mistakes? I definitely try my hardest to. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Yes, I do. Would you consider yourself to be lazy? Uh, no. I'm lazier than I would like to be, but I would not say I'm lazy. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? I do. ADHD makes it really easy to be uh, not motivated. Do you put the needs of others before yourself? Yeah. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? I would say they would. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? No. That's awful. Have you ever been cheated on in a relationship? As far as I know, I have not. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? Everyone's a little judgmental, but I would say I'm not overtly judgmental. I see. Are you a hero to someone else? Uh, I don't think so. Do you love animals? I do. I work with them. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder and wanted to hit them with a super like just to make shit real awkward? No. I have not. Yeah, uh, me neither. Fate, you're a little bit of a weird guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. Do you enjoy drinking alcohol? Uh, I do. Are you intoxicated right now? No, but that'd be interesting. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the phrase sneaky snake? That is kind of fun to say. I'm not gonna lie. 
Are these questions a bit strange to you? That last one was, do you have a vivid imagination? I do. Created a whole world in Dungeons and Dragons. Do you feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Depending on the large social setting, yes. Consider yourself to be antisocial. Uh, no. Do you hold a grudge for long periods of time? I have a few. I think everyone has a few, but very few. Very, very few. Like, two, maybe. Have you ever urinated in public? Do you mean, like, in a bathroom? Because I've done that. Do you like pineapple on your pizza? No. I don't even like pineapple that much. Which I know I'm going to get hate for. Would you consider yourself to be selfish? I certainly try not to be. Do you think you've got a big ego? I don't think I do. I've been told that I do, but I think I feign an ego. Because I don't actually have a lot of self-confidence. So I have to be kinky. I answered this before. Uh, I would say, after being on the internet for as long as I have, no. Would you consider yourself to be religious? Not really. Would you consider yourself to be temperamental? Uh, definitely have some anger issues occasionally. Try not to get too angry, which is why I've been delaying picking back up a difficult game about climbing so much. If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? No. Interesting. My own life? No, definitely not. For a complete stranger, uh... Probably not. But it definitely depends on some circumstances. Even more interesting. Inside a, of a burning building. No, but I've been outside of one. Have you ever been to a funeral? Several. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? Uh, no. I don't really want to know what happens. If you could see into the future, but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you, would you still look? Uh, no. I don't really want to know what's in my future. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? Uh, no. If you had the power to remove one person from Earth, never to return again, would you use it? Yeah. I told you that I understand you better than you understand yourself. Would you believe me? Uh, no. Someone threatened to kill you. Would you first response to be to react in violence? Probably. You threatened to kill me. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, would you forgive them if they apologized to you? A uh, stranger? No. Family member said something nasty about you bunch. Oh, I don't. I don't even know what that said. Shit. If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? No, that sounds awful. If you woke up tomorrow and none of your family remembered who you were, would you choose to leave and start a new life? No. The homeless man was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? Uh, I mean, I'd keep my underwear. They can have the rest. Someone accidentally hit you in their car, but you suffered no injuries whatsoever, would you still be upset with them? No, I've been actually pretty chill when I, I've, I've had that happen before. Have you looked for any hidden messages or, or meanings in these questions? No, I have not. Maybe you should have been. Are you wondering if there's a deeper meaning to all of this other than just simply answering question after question? Yes. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? Uh, not really. I agree with that. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. Red is a prettier color than pink. I prefer red, but I like pink. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing in the wind? Really? Katy Perry lyric? Yes, I do. Eating in front of people can be awkward, do you agree? No. Never had that issue. I know some people that have that issue, but I do not. Rings use a ceremonial wedding gift are so outdated, do you agree? No. I think it's a nice symbol. More for other people than myself. I did not realize that the first letter of the last six questions when combined spell out the word murder. Do you know why that is? Hopefully it's not because you're going to murder me. 
Does that make you slightly uncomfortable? A little. Uh, probably not. I'm gonna be honest, I probably not. Yeah, I do realize it's too late. I'm here. Do you hear someone in your room? No. Do you see the shadows closing in? No. Pretty bright in this room, actually, as you can see with that light and my two lights here. Uh, do you feel like you're being watched? Uh, kinda. Hi, guys. Do you look around your room a moment ago? No. Do you like long walks on the beach? Who doesn't? You know. Do you enjoy giving gifts to people? Once again, who doesn't? Have you ever felt like giving up on life? Yeah. Do you love your family more than you love yourself? Yeah. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? Like, clearly a better friend or better person? What do you mean? I'm going to say no. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? You getting topical. I do not. Do you believe that you are human? Yeah. Should I not? You could turn invisible, but you could never be visible ever again once you decide to use your power for the first time would you ever use it. No. You knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family. Would you stop them? No. You were stranded on a remote island with a stranger, and you were both starving to death, but you found a secret stash of food that they didn't know about. Would you share it with them? Uh, yeah. If you could turn into an eagle for one year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until that one year has passed, would you do it? Uh, no. I'd probably die. You had the opportunity to earn riches beyond the wild streams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death using nothing but a machete and an army helmet. Would you do it? No, I don't want to kill grizzly bear. If you had to pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year, would you choose potatoes? No, I don't like potatoes. If pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece, would you still continue to eat pizza? Yeah, I like pizza. Not gonna lie. If your best friend got bit in the genitals by a highly venomous snake, the only way to save their life is to suck the venom out of their genitals, would you do it to save them? I mean, in a completely fictitious world where that actually worked, yes. And in reality, sucking the venom doesn't actually do anything. Um, but yeah, I'd do it. Was that question difficult to answer? Uh, not really. Do you feel more or cold? Yes. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? A little. I'm getting better about that, though. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? I do. Do you ever feel depressed? I do. You're not alone. Do you feel relaxed? Uh, not really. Do you think you have a guardian angel watching over you? No. I'm not doing a very good job if they are. Do you ever hear your name being called when no one could have called it? Yes. I'm going to take a special note on that one. Why? I do always look both ways before crossing the road. Do you wash your hands every day? Uh, a lot more than every day. More like probably every few hours. Whenever I go to the bathroom. Or just feel like my hands are gross. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? Uh, some public restrooms, but most often, no. Is winter your favorite season? No, I hate winter. Yeah, I know people named Josh. Are you wondering why that last question is relevant? Uh, no. A little. Are you allergic to any animals? As far as I have discovered, no. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? Disgusting. Have you ever been in love? I am. Have been. Would you consider yourself to be artistic? Uh, I wish I was. I can't draw for crap. Would you consider yourself to be dominant in day-to-day -day life? Uh, no. Feel that you've got too much time on your hands. I don't think I have enough time on my hands. Can you be easily intimidated by others? Uh, yeah. Are you easily excitable? No. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? Yes, I do. Do you have a difficult time relaxing? I do. Consider yourself to be high maintenance. I have been described as not high maintenance, but living a very particular lifestyle that is a bit hard to keep up with. So I guess I would say yes. Do you trust easily? I do. Uh, I try to be. Definitely. Everyone's still alive. Have you ever lied to your best friend? Uh, yes, for a surprise. 
Have you ever lied to your family? Yes, for their own good. Have you lied about any answers during this session? I don't think so. Except for that one that I misclicked. But I don't want to consider that lying. Are you wondering why all these questions have to do with lying? No, because you wanted me to be honest. It's all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? Yeah, I like to make people happy. No, I do not. Some of these are overlapping with the last test, I believe. You feel like you've got a good sense of humor. I do. Uh, sometimes. That's supposed to frighten me. Well, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. It's probably a pretty good place for us to stop the simple segment of our questionnaire and move on to the more gritty questions. This next set of questions will not be yes or no answers. The next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios that put you smack dab in the middle of vital making choice, choice making. We'll see how well you handle your options as you delve deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to all of this is to answer honestly. Let's get started. God, I've never had my jaw get tired from talking. You're home alone, it's dark, and it's storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door. Someone's in your house. What do you do? Grab the closest item that can be used as a weapon. Bed knife. Very interesting choice. You meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find it within yourself to give her all the spare change you have. Just as you do, a homeless man approaches, asking if you can spare some change. What do you do? Uh. Tell the homeless man to ask the woman for some of her change. Really now? I don't have any more money to give him. Both your mother and your father fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease, and there's only enough medicine and facilities to save one of your parents, and the time is of essence. What do you do? Oh, man. Well, I wouldn't split the medication, and I wouldn't save the medication for myself. I'm gonna do what I would do in real life. Okay, I've got a wheel here. Landed on Mom. I, that's I wouldn't be able to decide. That doesn't surprise me. It I mean it was a random choice. You find a case of money tucked any away inside of a dumpster. Inside there's ten solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under vial there's a note that says the cure for cancer. What do you do? Um, professional entity so they can use utilize it. Keep the gold bars, but give away the cure for cancer. That's what I would do. What a wasted opportunity. I don't want the cure for cancer. I want medical professionals to have it. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't judge. You're stuck alone inside of your house, and you're starving to death. You completely run out of food, and no one is coming to save you for weeks. The only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? Not kill. Let my pets eat me so they can survive until help arrives. Why am I not surprised? Probably shouldn't be. Your neighbor's home is on fire. A blazing inferno among smoke exits from the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is around in sight. Um, run into the burning home. I'd try to help. I like that. 
You're fast asleep in your bed when you're woken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under your bed. What do you do? Not looking under the bed. Not hiding under the covers. Probably verbally call out. Hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment your time runs out on this earth. What do you do? Um... Decline the offer for you to watch and keep walking. Would you know? I don't want to know how much time I have on this earth. You're sitting at home playing a game on your PC when all of a sudden someone grips and squeezes your shoulders firmly from behind. Tell them to squeeze harder, you could use a nice massage. Um, probably jump up and turn around. Huh. You're sitting in the bathtub trying to relax when a hand emerges from the water. What do you do? Jump out of the bath and run as fast as you can. Kick the hand and try to keep it away from it. Give it a firm handshake. Maybe even a solid fist bump. Hey! Nice to meet ya. Gobolt Archer here. Geller. You can call me Geller. Push on a water and hope that you get some free hand action. Nope, I'm gonna jump out of the bath. Clever. You get out of bed and immediately fall down into a deeper, dark hole. A man is standing above you, looking down, telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. Tell him you've got very sensitive skin and allergies. Ask if you'll come down and help apply the lotion. Start slathering yourself in lotion. Scream for help. I mean, none of these. Probably that one. Smart choice. You're sitting at home alone and all of a sudden your door slams shut. But it would be with sarcasm. I want to preface that. You see it before your door slams shut. You just see it before your very eyes and you know that no one is home and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? Uh... Look for a weapon around the room immediately. I like that. Someone you've known for many years, but of no attraction to tells you that they've had a massive crush on you for a long time. Um, tell them it would probably ruin the friendship. Ah, so you're one of those types. Okay. Well, listen here, man. If I'm not attracted to them at all, I'm not going to waste their time or mine. Okay? Your dog starts randomly barking in the darkest corner of your living room. There doesn't appear to be anything there, but your dog insists on escalating to growls. Um, see if anything moves. I'm taking note of that. You see a massive spider in your room the size of your hand. Um, grab something bigger to smash it, I guess. Ah. Your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? Try to convince them that they need help. I see. Closest family member? Yeah. If you found out that you only had one day left to live, what would you do? Tell everyone that I love them and be happy, not sad. Do something insane and crazy, anything goes. Not tell anyone at all, just act as if nothing changed. Spend my time on my own, away from others. Um, I'd probably just act if nothing has changed, but try to see everyone I could. Alright then. One of your pets started speaking to you and told you that they've got a dire warning that they were going to die if you didn't let them eat all the ice cream in the freezer. What would you do? Go lay down. I'm obviously way too high for this. Um, assume that, assure them that you'll protect them and they won't die. I'm going to give them all the ice cream they can handle. Oh, lovely. All of a sudden, you could start hearing other people's thoughts, and the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money. What would you do? Take preventative action and beat them up first. Get away from them as quickly as possible. That sounds reasonable. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they just accidentally killed someone, and they don't want to go to prison. Um... Uh, I would not want to get involved. Oh, You're dying and... Dying. 
you're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over. Pretty sure that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful thinking. What do you do? Tell, go, call your best friend and tell them that you don't want to go to prison. Um... I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I'm watching you. Interesting how that played out. I think it's time we move on to the next portion of our test. The following questions that shall be asked of you would, are would you rather style questions. Imagine you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Let's get started, shall we? Would you rather be loved by all or feel by all? Loved. Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? Never get angry. Would you rather be held in high regard by your parents or by your friends? My parents. No, my friends. My friends are sure. Would you rather live in space or under the sea? Space. Screw the sea. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs? To people who need them. People who need them. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Uh, get the five years over with. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in ten years from now? Or would you rather have your dream job but have to work until the day you die? Retire in ten years. Would you rather every shirt you ever wear to be somewhat itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? Guess I'm going through a lot of toilet paper. Would you rather have skin that changes colors depending on your mood or have tattoos appear on your body that depict what you did yesterday? Appearing tattoos, because it doesn't specify where, and I could cover them. Would you rather shit every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you see a dog? I see a lot of dogs at work. I'll take orgasm shits for 5,000, Alex. If your partner switched bodies with one of your parents and the only way to get them to switch back was to have sex with one of them, would you rather have sex with your partner and your parent's body or or have sex with your parent and your partner's body? Oh, God. Definitely. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, seriously. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just answer the question. Uh, Partner's body. That one had no bearing on your results. I was just curious. Fuck, fuck you, man. Screw you. I think we've answered enough of these types of questions, and I'm sure you'd agree. We're going to end the test with a short series of final questions, giving simple answers. We'll get started now. Out of the following options, which number do you like the most? Not really any of them, but I guess 46 sounds nice. Out of the following options, which color resonates with you best at this exact moment? I don't know, red jumped out to me. Out of the following options, which creature are you the least comfortable around? Spiders. Out of the following options, which flavor is your favorite? Mint. For ice cream, at least. Out of the following options, which do you personally value the most? Friends. Out of the following options, which could you most live without? Money. Doing it my entire life, man. Out of the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I am caring. Out of the following options, which are you most afraid of? Uh, living forever. I don't want to live forever. We're almost finished, but I've got one final question for you. Have you ever punched a nun? No. You really ought to try it sometime. You can really take the edge off. Alright, we're done here. I'm through with you. I'm just going to calculate results very carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. I'm trying my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. I'm trying to keep this as professional as possible. Aha! Here we go. Based on what you've told me, I've come to a conclusion. This is what I personally believe would be in your best interest to acknowledge, set in motion, and accomplish in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that has taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that has such an incredible, unique, irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. Time is the most valuable form of currency you'll ever hold in life. You can spend time on anyone doing anything for any reason. Now time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded. Time can never be earned back. 
and more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get to spend in life. Now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need and the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you cannot afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time and we have no idea just how much or how little we truly have before our bank account runs dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on just shows you how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you. So now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to make a suggestion for you personally on how I think you'd best spend your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage in your life. Let's see here. All right, listen. You really need to spend more time focusing on doing things for yourself. You've got to start taking into account that you cannot pour from an empty cup. And if people keep wanting your energy, you need to take time to yourself to replenish it. You've got such a big heart and such a bright soul. Because of this, people would benefit greatly from getting to know you or having more of you. But you need to take twice as much time making yourself happy as you do attempting to make other people happy. Otherwise, you're going to let people make you miserable. It is not your responsibility to save the world, but it doesn't mean that you can't save one person at a time. But you need to start by saving yourself, because you're no good to anyone else completely drained of all that makes you, you. My advice to you is that you spend a lot more of your time focusing on things that make you feel relaxed, make you feel happy, and less time saying yes to people that demand too much of your energy. It's okay to be selfish, because at the end of the day, if you aren't going to take care of, your, of you, then who is? I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this help, information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is self-care. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Hold on, I'm adding it to the notes. I'm adding it to the notes. Secret word to self-care. Oh, that's the end. Well then, take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. You do not wish to be apart, blah blah blah, same thing. Thank you for the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. One more thing. We greatly appreciate your feedback and support. Third and final installment of the series, all will finally be revealed. Not a single person has been able to figure out what the entire experiment is all about yet. Look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings as it helps shape what we do as we work on future projects to bring the emotion out of you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for playing, and thank you for contributing your secret words to our projects. Alright. Oh, there's another game. After the third one. In the meantime, the advisor is another interesting experience that we'd like to recommend as it has great emphasis on player-developer interaction, where you, the player, gets to vote on how the story will be written in future episodes. Interesting. Your opinions and decisions have a direct impact on the development process. Alright. Well, that brings this episode of the Test Trilogy, or I guess Quadrilogy here, to an end. So, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button to let me know. Leave a comment down below to let me know what else you'd like to see me play in the future. And what you thought of this. And subscribe for more. Hope this guy, this video was interesting to you guys. Getting to learn a little bit about me and my life. And I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. Because I'm actually enjoying this. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!